Welcome right. back to Gaming Uphill Both Ways. I am FC Neo Tokyo. That is Bobby Digital. He tried to get a word in edgewise. You know that's not happening. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back to GTA Vice City, right? Yeah. And uh, I have, I have <laughs> Phil, no idea how many episodes. Fill in a chaos meter. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we just, just, just out causing chaos for the biker gang. Just because we need one favor, so we decided, why don't we make this lifelong commitment? Right. <laughs> blood in, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> for the, like, right? $5,000. Yep. No, blood in for the security we need for the 80s metal hair band concert that's coming up. Right. The one concert, right? <laughs> <laughs> woo I like that shotgun. God only knows where we left off. <laughs> oh, man. We're, we're, we're trying to get bikers to help the hairband concert or something like that. Right. But God only knows if anybody's going to ever see that. Who who knows? <laughs> it's pretty epic, actually. I sat there and fired at a helicopter as it fired back on me, and I got it with zero, zero, one life. That sounds very epic. I will put a scene of it in right now. Oh, shit. Why would you do that? Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> oh, God. You got to love it. As you can see, that was super epic. Yeah, of course it was. I missed it because I was too busy being angry at the Internet. And not about something, just the actual function of my Internet. <laughs> Uh, anyway, man, what's good, dude? It, it's not like we haven't been talking for an hour on one of the worst recording sessions in history. Oh, well, I <laughs> mean, we can only go up from here, right? Right. So I guess I, in, in the honor of the trailer dropping. Oh, my God, I forgot. Yeah, I haven't watched it yet. I just I can't do it because the game's not coming out for another two years. But dude, I'm the same way. Like, I, I heard about the leak. And I was like, ah, I'm not going to watch the leak. I'm just going to wait. And then I heard before I saw it all about how, like, it's 2025. What do you say? What do you see? And I was just like, oh, and I lost interest. Like, I haven't seen it yet either. Yep. But do you know what I did here? They mapped the entire city of Miami because I was listening to the Levitard show and they actually talked about it because they're all down in Miami and they were like, I saw the trailer and I'm like, yeah, I know that place. I know that place. I know that place. So I think they're going with actual like real places in some of these spots. Well, I've seen, I've seen some, some pictures side by side and it's pretty good, man. Like, yeah, no, they like, they Google card Miami basically with Grand Theft Auto <laughs> with Rockstar Games. They just went and did the whole city. That's so wild, right? Like, like, dude, you saying, could so hire me to do that. <laughs> I will drive the Google Maps car. I will do it. <laughs> I so would. Well, I mean, it was the same with L.A. and San Andreas. A lot of people were pretty impressed with that. Now, I've never been to L.A., so I, I don't know. I mean, I've never <sighs> been to Miami either. Well, trust me, L.A. is like it's a collection of million fucking cities that all just run into each other. <laughs> it seriously is. I've only been like four times and it was all in a semi and it was not fun. Oh my god, dude. I don't know how people do it. Like, I gotta actually that's funny. I gotta show you today what some lady had to pick up and drive to downtown Chicago for me. Oh, these two, these two giant reels. It was it was an epic fail too. They showed up with an enclosed trailer because they're like, of course they'll go in there. And dude's like, I'm not fucking taking these. <laughs> <laughs> so so he bounced, and then we had to get some lady with a flatbed, and it was just like, yo, like not because she's a lady, just her demeanor. It's like, is this? Do you do you drive trucks often? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> if you've ever seen semi pro, it's like Chris and Wig and the Bear. Like, she shows up, and Will Ferrell's supposed to wrestle a bear just for, like, entertainment at the halftime. And she's like, oh, yeah, it's my first day with the bear. <laughs> <laughs> and when the bear's, like, kicking the shit out of Will Ferrell, Chris and Wiggs like, stop. No. Why would you do that? <laughs> Dude, she is so funny, actually, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this is the mission where I go bust up a bunch of windows. Yeah, could be well, wrong, I though. Think, 
I think the first time we did this, because this is... But what are you talking very, about the first time? I don't know what you're we, talking about. We've had a journey with this game. Uh, um, well, we've just had a journey in life this year, man. Or at least I have, yeah, God damn it. Very fair. I, dude, I... <laughs> my my car my car accident was not nearly as epic as yours, but I. Uh, oh no! You got in a I, car accident? No, well, I got rear-ended yesterday. But the uh, ni- the Nissan Sentra is built like a bumper car. Nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> it's it just nothing. Literally nothing. That's I, mean, I I've had that before. Like when I had my old S10, uh, I got rear-ended outside, and it really it wasn't the dude's fault behind me either, because like. I was going to pull out, and somebody, like, pulled out, like, a banshee in front of me, and I had to stop real quick, so he did, and literally, there was, like, barely any damage, and he got out, and he was, like, working in a box truck, he's like, man, he was all freaking out, and I'm like, uh, yeah, don't worry about it, there's nothing here, (laughs) he's like, what, I was like, yeah, we don't have to call anybody, like, don't, don't worry about it, man, you're good, because there was no damage on his truck. Dude, that that's that's nice because that's what I did yesterday. Because or because honestly, like, it's it was just like, dude, what am I gonna do? We're in rush hour traffic in like in the rain in Chicago. Like, exactly. Not, you're gonna you don't wait for the cops to come weave their way through all that shit, block everything off, create a fucking seven hour delay or some shit. Yeah, no hell no. Plus we were on the surface streets because the highway was already all screwed up. So we're like. I mean, we're at one of the busiest intersections out in the, like, you know, further west area. And it's just like, oh, God. Probably one of the busiest intersections known to man. Right. Honestly. Uh, I mean, (laughs) you know, I heard I heard in France that they will not like you can be in like they will not insure you in like the round that giant roundabout shit they got. Like you are considered uninsured there. <laughs> and you know when it's like eight lanes of cars going in a circle? Yes. <laughs> they're, they're like, nah. <laughs> that is the state of Florida to France. They will not insure that shit. <laughs> oh god, that's kind of funny, man. That's that's wild. Oh, Meanwhile, the sh- Germany's shit. got the Autobahn, nobody cares. Well the Germans are efficient if nothing else. To right. a fault. <laughs> 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 to a very 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 large fault <laughs> oh god oh man i always i always kind of joke about germany i'm like they created history's greatest monster and people are like what and it's like it's like yeah torsten frings <laughs> and for those who don't know torsten frings uh committed a handball on the line of the 2002 world cup and kept the u.s from going to the semifinals. Bastard. So. I know, right? The history's greatest monster. Okay. So, where would you like to go? Would you like to go buy some property? Would you like to go back to the V? Would you like to go mess with the Cubans? Or would you like to go do a biker mission? Biker mission. I feel like the Cubans are too too crazy. And then we'll have to buy something soon. You the boy, boy. <laughs> Fucking Danny Trejo. <laughs> crazy. I like how on this uh, V Rock station they actually have "Love This Song." Right, it's <clears> cool, <throat> right? I, I wonder who actually like played it. I don't know. So I started playing uh, Grand Theft Auto Three the other day, the remaster, the one before this, and like damn near all the songs are made up, and I forgot about that. And now well, I most of them are. But uh, is it like the Scarface soundtrack, one whole uh, yeah. radio station? Yeah, that's one <laughs> radio station. But then, yeah. And that was the one I ended up listening to. And I'm like, oh, yeah. And now I have all those songs in my head. Come, that's actually, come to the yayo. Right. Rush, rush, rush to rush the to yayo. That's <laughs> crazy. I was like, oh, man, that takes me back to 2000. 2001. Right? The odds. It just it felt like video games could never get any better. Or exactly. More <laughs> you were like, I remember, oh my like, god, at- I can jack a car. Oh god. It oh my like- god, I can drop people off in a taxi. <laughs> it just felt like the live world, driver. right? Yeah, like, exactly. GT, even these older games like this one right here, it, they they do so well at making you feel like it's a live world. 
Exactly. Which, speaking of, you know what we have to do now, right? What? Before the next t- the before we record anymore after this episode, we're gonna have to watch the trailer and then talk all about it. I guess so. Because I mean, honestly, I didn't watch it and you didn't watch it, so perfect. <laughs> I know they have a female protagonist this time. I think they're co- oh, that's- which I'm all about that. Dude, I love like I jokingly. Well, not jokingly. I, I say seriously, but it it turns into a joke a lot of times. I always love to play as someone other than myself. You know what I mean? And like that that just includes like uh, I love the women characters in a lot of games. Like uh, Horizon is a great woman lead game, but like even stuff like Mass Effect, where you pick your you, like your master, your uh, what's his name, fucking Shepard guy, Shepard or whatever. It's yeah, yeah it pick- doesn't have to be a dude. Shepherd, right? You're just shepherd. The woman, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you put your own first name in, but nobody ever calls you by it. You're just shepherd, <laughs> right? Just like you have no name in GTA Three. Everybody's just like you. I do like how they went back and named him Claude. Did they? Yeah, that's his actual name. Because, like in in uh, San Andreas, remember that's like. What you, what you don't realize at first is the girl that you're screwing around with when you go out in the middle of nowhere is Catalina or whatever her name is, who's the main bad guy in the first game. Yeah, I remember that. And and so, or not the first game, but the third game, right? Yeah, no, and, I know what you're talking about. And, and so she leaves Frank, or not Franklin, what's his name? Um, God, I can't think of his name now, but the main guy in three, Car- CJ. CJ. Yeah, so she leaves CJ, and she's like, for a real man. And then Claude wa- from GTA 3 walks up and doesn't say a word. <laughs> it's great. Oh, man, I got to go back and look at that Easter egg. Well, it's like a mission. You just probably haven't, like, remembered it because you haven't played that one in a long time. Yeah, exactly. Because it's, like, dead center of the game. I like how we're talking about every other GTA game other than... Tommy uh, Vicente. Yeah, exactly, other than Vice City. Which, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, I don't know, man. It, it's Woo! Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> get Mitch's angel and get out of there. Oh shit, I've been spotted. Oh no, you've been spotted. Oh no, whatever will I do? I, I mean, heaven forbid that there's a firefight. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get the bag back to the bar. <laughs> Careful. Do, do, I, do, do, do. I do find it funny that these old GTA bad guys just, like, will run straight up to you with reckless abandon to try and, like, hit you at point-blank range with an M4 machine gun. <laughs> <coughs> right. <laughs> this is High to I technology. Learned. All right, what do we do when we see him, boys? We run directly at him and fire every bullet we have. <laughs> but before we fire every bullet we have, we stop and stay completely stationary. And do not move, regardless. Even when he, even when he hits us, just stay there. <laughs> now, boys, don't bend those knees either. Just straight, just yep. standing right there. <laughs> One hand on those Mac 10s to make sure that nothing hits him. <laughs> I feel as though this mission was uh, very easy in comparison to the other ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the last one was tough. <laughs> well, unless the you one that we got stuck him. on. What the uh, fuck? I was about to say, did he just steal the bike again? <laughs> or was that Big Mitch Baker? You don't want to fuck with Big Mitch Baker. It's hilarious when you listen to V-Rock and Laszlo's playing the songs and Big, Big Mitch Baker. Wait, what? why did he bust you? You're. I'm part of the club, bro. I mean, not yet. You're still a prospect. For, li- for life. Dude, you don't even have a cut yet. All right. Thank you, bro. I guess you are in. <sighs> Actually, I think I might be able to. 
So, wait, did you reload? Well, no, because it auto saves when you do the mission. So ah, I see. I preferred not to lose all of my weapons and armor. So, at what point do you get to <coughs> date Peggy Bundy now? Peggy Bundy. <laughs> yeah, remember she was in the uh, um. Oh, what was the motorcycle show? Sons of Anarchy. Oh, okay. Now I got you, Peggy Bundy. Yeah, no, she was. She did good in that show. I watched that show. It was actually pretty decent until the last few seasons. I never watched the last season, but... There was... Oh, I did. It, it ended very unsatisfactory. Un, uh, okay, but, um, well, then I'm glad. And, uh, for me, it fell off when it was like... They were caught selling the drugs, and they were with the, you know, they were, it was just like, they had them dead to rights, and it was like, actually, we're FBI agents, everything's cool. And then, like, it just went, it, it, it just went off the rails from there. That was like season three or four, I can't remember. Yeah, I usually stick around a little longer on most TV shows than you probably do, but well, that one was. Well, considering I don't, I don't watch them at all. Well, yeah, unless you're forced to. <laughs> We're going to have to do, like, a Walking Dead podcast since you've been, like, forced to watch it. Oh, my God. I want to do, po- I wanna do podcasts like Mystery Science 3000 shit on stuff that you've been forced to watch by Violet. Not only by oh. Violet, but by me back in the day, like, wrestling. Oh, my God. Dude, just, just like, watch old Monday Night Raws. Yep. <laughs> Hogan. There's an entire guy, and actually, he's part of the WrestleQuest game because, like, he advertised it, and he got himself into wrestling. A dude exactly like me who watched wrestling when he was growing up, lost interest in the early '90s, came back for the Attitude area, and then lost interest again. Made like he's like he was into mortgages and stuff, but now he runs a podcast empire. They call him the Pod Father, and all he does literally is like talks to wrestlers about old wrestling shit, or goes and does old wrestling watch alongs with the wrestlers who were there. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. That's actually pretty cool. I know he's like, live. He's living my fucking dream. <laughs> So who who would be your number one interview? Who do you want to hear from? Oh, well, he's dead. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, that would have been a good one. But no, he's got all sorts of them. He's got uh, Ric Flair. Well, no, it's funny because, like, he just started doing... uh, he started doing like events with wrestlers, and then eventually he got to do Rick, uh, Rick Flair podcast somehow. And he ended up he's Rick Flair's son-in-law now. He ended up marrying one of his daughters. <laughs> Is it the hot one that wrestled? No. <laughs> okay then. Um, Why is everybody shooting here? It's Florida. That's true. But this isn't DeSantis, Florida yet. True. Fair. So, I don't know, man. I'll put it this way. I think the coolest guy to talk to, period, would be Bret Hart. Uh, he's because, kind of a whiny little bitch. See, I feel like after finding out that everybody's a piece of shit, <laughs> like Hogan and Warrior and even the guy who was like the other Undertaker guy, he's like a mayor, of the Republican mayor now. Okay, it's like yeah. all these, all like, these, all these oh, guys oh, dude, are these, pieces of shit. Oh, and, my like, Bret God. Hart was awesome. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he's got some questionable shit. Trust me, I've went, I've went a lot further down these rabbit holes than you have. Well, then, okay, who is the one guy who's just? Uh, there's not a whole lot of them who are just like straight clean. The Undertaker seems to be the one that's like he ain't had no like, he, like he kept the locker room in check and everybody respected him and he didn't have any skeletons in his closet. The Rock, okay. I mean, The Rock is the same. He kind of didn't really, I mean, you know, he, he, he did what he had to do, I guess, to, you know, he didn't he have, the there's, 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 pl- there's plenty of them that like, there's plenty of wrestlers who have not done anything wrong, have had good careers, have made money, have had families. But, dude, there's plenty of shit, especially when you go into, like, WCW or you go back to the territory days before the WWF exploded and you've seen how wrestling worked. And, like, especially in the South, and I'm talking about 
underage girls. That shit was rampant, man. Like, oh my disgusting God. shit. Dude, they, like, there used to be promoters who would tell wrestlers, like, how they needed to look because there were teenage girls in the front row and which ones they needed to talk to to get them coming back. Because oh, it's all about selling houses. I'm telling you, man, you want to get into some dirty shit, listen to some wrestling podcasts. <laughs> oh, no. Like, the, be- behind, behind the scenes, that from, like, the 80s to probably the 2008. Yeah, that shit's pretty disgusting. And then basically they got, they had to reform a little bit at least. Well, I mean that's fair. <laughs> it's, I'm just sick of finding out people are pieces of shit. The last time we were recording, you were like, "Oh, you haven't heard about Kurt Russell?" And like, I felt my childhood just die. <laughs> did, you, did you go down the rabbit hole on that one? No, I refuse to. I'm like, just... honestly, man, it. I don't think Kurt Russell did anything to be canceled. He just has very Trumpian views that he's expressed. Well, yeah. And, so, and I mean, that's fair. nothing to be canceled. I don't think that means that you can't enjoy Kurt Russell's work. I There are things I like about Kurt. Right? Kurt Russell did a hell of a job in the second Guardians of the Galaxy when I knew he was a piece of shit. Like, politically. Like, that's a piece of shit fair. politically. Yeah. He might be... <laughs> Uh oh. This is the best mission. These idiots are so funny. They're pricking themselves. Is that fucking London for shit? <laughs> I believe so. <laughs> I'm tired of hating everybody, so even though Kurt Russell espouses like Trumpian views, like he might be an all right dude. He just might be a little misguided in a couple of the things he thinks about from my point of view. So not willing to, like, just condemn people anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of internet rot brain. That's that's fair, man. I, I hear you on that. But it's... now if you, like, want to try to incite a riot, you can go fuck yourself. But if you have views that can trash with mine, I'm just done, like, condemning you. Even though you'll condemn me because you're on the other side and you just think we should all die. Oh that no! <clears throat> I gotta that run. That seems tough, right? Like when it when it, when it comes to, from like like I'll forgive you, but you won't forgive me. And like, so how do I have to be the bigger person to do that? You know what I'm saying? That is tough. That's uh, that's something. That or I'll I mean. look past what I think is unforgivable in you but you refuse to even hear me that's kind of but and that and that's i, I just i feel like I, I guess i'll put it this way i think we had a talk about this before it there was a point where like i feel like politics were like you know you you both sides said oh my god look at that there's a homeless person and the, and the one would want to do one thing about it, and the other would want to do another, and then they come to a consensus that, like, didn't help enough but was okay, right? And now I feel like one side's like, oh, that's a homeless person. We should do something. And the other side nowadays is like, that's not a homeless person. They don't exist. And if they did, they should be they should be drugged through the streets. You know what I mean? It's just like you can't even, you can't even come to a, a basic understanding of what's a problem and what's not. And your car just exploded. I was hoping you'd miss that. Uh, yeah, no, the other side is like, that's not a homeless person. Look at that cardboard box. That's their house. It's what they deserve, because that's what they work for. Dude, it's it's kind of wild and crazy. I can't but honestly, that. that's always kind of been that, like studying history. It's always kind of been that. It just got really amplified with social media, and then people on the right kind of really lost their minds there. And a few on the left, too. Yeah, it's, I've just, it's just so, I don't know, man, it's. Okay, it's, so it's basically like, I just have to go really fast. You have to go really fast, and these idiots are trying to party in the car and be idiots and stuff, and. Oh, no. <laughs> Shit. Okay. <laughs> you know, really, what it is, it's the plot to speed. It is. Where's Sandra Bullock? I am Sandra Bullock. <laughs> You are Sandra Bullock. Shit. Speed 2 cruise control. Let's get on a boat. <laughs> why, why would anyone watch that movie? Because of cinephobes. Assholes. 
Okay, I feel you on that one. Is there, actually, if you want to watch a bad movie with your girl, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, God. No, I, I like... I like... Uh, I just... I, you know what I like? I like the... Uh, I like the 80s bad movies where there's, you know, topless girls and bad writing and all that stuff. That oh, I've, I've definitely been on the 80s kick lately. It... Oh man, dude, you you're gonna you're gonna kill this. You're gonna do this mission, and it's gonna be awesome. Sure thing. <laughs> I like to put positivity in the world. Oh man, dude, I I I have to tell you, after tonight, I've been so terrified. I'm looking at your your OBS screen, and I don't understand it, and I'm scared. Why? Because. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. We're gonna get Love Fist to where they need to be because they're fucking rad. You know, I don't know, man. It's you look at the like Love Fist represents a time like, quote unquote, you wouldn't be able to get away with that today or whatever. It's just like I don't know. I feel like there's a difference between things that you should be canceled for and just like you being a piece of shit and that's fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like like that you can be a shitty person. It's 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 allowed. It's just you know, people don't want to be your friend. <laughs> exactly. Uh Ooh. You know What's the long? Uh, you got to find like a way to get to that street by where where you start the game by the beach. Do you? <laughs> Did you see me just pause the game and look at the map? <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize that's what you were doing. Yeah, I was trying to you get know. like some straightaway. No! Run, run, run! Go, 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 go! Son of a oh, I thought it was gonna stop, dude. I damn it. So, how would you like to be the person that killed Love Fist? At this point, I'd rather just dive out of the car and let him die. <laughs> Grunge is going to put you out of work anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You've got five years left at best. <laughs> oh, God. Dr. Dre and Nirvana are coming for your shit. That's kind of wild if you think about it. We're not, like, every kind of music gets that resurgence, right? Yes, and the mm -hmm. 80s are getting that resurgence, and I'm one of the people who used to fucking hate on the 80s, especially when we were in the 90s, probably because that's when I was coming of age. But now I love 80s music, and I'm sure recent events have a uh, something to do with that. But love some 80s right now. Every Sunday I go in and I call it our awesome 80s weekend, and turn on the 80s station at work that we're not supposed to play. That's actually kind of awesome. I would play the 90s station, but the last time I did that, somebody in a fuck Biden shirt got super fucking offended at a Fantastic Voyage song by Coolio. I'm oh, like, dude, he was Jesus. just... Are you serious? Yeah, he was like, what is this monkey music? I was like, what? My God, dude, for real. For real, and he was in a fuck Biden shirt, and he was out there just, like, yelling it like he wanted a confrontation, and I'm like, okay. And that's, I, just, like, that's those people's personality now. They don't have a personality. They're just whatever is Trump. Oh, trust you know me, because I, mean? I told him to fuck off and that he was a racist and told him to get the fuck out of my store and told him he couldn't buy anything. And him and his buddy were just like, well, at least we got a boy. At least we got somebody. And, and they're referring to, you know, I'm like, Ugh. why? You're in a cult, dude. Like, what yeah, the fuck? For real. Uh, it, it wasn't even like gangster rap like it wasn't even like you know that gangster rap that pissed our parents off it was coolio he just wanted to go on a fantastic voyage right and ride ride slippity slide and that dude just fucking flipped a i am so happy i'm quitting that job yeah congratulations thank you all right if you didn't notice i passed that mission i know well you gotta drop him back you gotta drop him off oh shit but damn 
but yes, you did successfully. De I defused uh, the bomb, I guess at least. Correct. Boom, boom, boom. I, uh, when it comes to 80s music, I don't like. It's hard for me to listen to it. It because because like, there's all so much of the rock music that like, honestly, if you took today's like production style and distortion, you know, instead of like, you know, those old boss HM twos or whatever, like that shit would sound so banging right now. Like it, it just some of those riffs are just fucking perfect, but they don't sound good. You know, like I, it, <laughs> I've been. I don't listen to all these rock for the most part. I heard enough of that in my fucking childhood. I actually Fair. more like the other, <laughs> the eighties bangers that are probably kind of pretty cheesy. But like I said, I'm just well, in a place right the now pop to music where of the that's 80s was still that's pretty good. that's what I heard a lot from my mom growing up. So that's why I'm listening to a lot of eighties shit like that right now. That's that's definitely cool, man. I gotta tell you, I, I I desperately want somebody to do like a, a, a heavy death metal -y cover of Godzilla by Blue Oyster Cult. Because that oh. song I listen to all the goddamn time. I love that riff. <laughs> I want yeah. you to hear some of so okay, in the Star Wars game I have that Jedi Survivor. Right. So, like, he basically, I don't want to say he owns a bar, but he basically owns a bar. At some point, you get to upgrade the bar, and you get a little droid DJ. And I swear to God, I almost sent you one of those PlayStation things that was like, what do you think of uh, Far Away, Long Ago, Galaxy Death Metal? Because there's a couple, like, <laughs> death metal songs. <laughs> or it's death so core. <laughs> Dude, that, that's kind of awesome. That's like... Uh... Star, Star Trek has this awesome, hilarious cartoon uh, out right now. Like it's it's for adults, right? But it's um, uh, lower decks or whatever. And the one girl was like, "Oh, all I listen to is Klingon acid punk." And it's like, okay, that makes sense. The Klingons would listen to like, you know, like crust punk or like stuff like that. You know, it, it's it kind of just like made sense. <laughs> what the fuck? What, did, did, I think their amps just caught fire. <laughs> I mean, whatever. I just made a bunch of money. So. All right. Well, on a high note, bro, I think it's time for next time. Sweet, sweet. So, so uh, like, subscribe, all that other nonsense. Thank you to Bobby Digital for being here. I was FC Neo Tokyo. Thank you for being here, and uh, we'll be back. Peace. Ooh, this is like the Marvel after credit scene. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, man. Possibly a little disappointed, but blood in, blood out. Peace out. All right. Yeah, we're for life. As i.e., we'll never talk to that man again. <laughs>